I think we are really blessed to have St. Anne as our patroness. We did not invent this church. We came here and we found out that we belong to St. Anne's parish, which is really a blessing. She is such a great saint to have. She is, she is, God chose her to be Mary's mother. And there's a feast that we have, it's called the Immaculate Conception. Does anybody know what that, that's a really tricky word, it's a complicated Immaculate Conception. Does anybody know what Not feast really. that is? No? Really. You want me to tell you what it is? I, I, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We have an answer. Um, is it when Mary was conceived? You got it! Come here, let's hear it! Mary was, she was, God knew she was going to be the mother of Jesus, so God wanted the most perfect woman to give birth to Jesus, and so Mary herself, when she was conceived, that means when she first received life in the womb of Saint Anne, she was conceived without sin. She was pure, beautiful, without sin. So she is our patroness, and she can help us to come close to Jesus, and she can help us to live pure and beautiful and free and without sin. So we are so lucky. And she's an ordinary person. She was, she, she was a, a wife, she was a mother, she was a grandmother, she was a neighbor. And uh, she, she teaches us that we should get along with each other. That's what she taught Jesus, you know, not to fight. You know, she taught Jesus to pray. She taught Mary to pray. So uh, we're really blessed to have such a great woman. And when you, does anybody have a grandmother? That you, you, yes, tell us what it's like when you, what happens when you go to your grandmother's house? Um, <gasps> she greets you with so much joy and all it is is happiness. Oh, say that again, that was really good. She greets you with joy and all it is is happiness, pure happiness. <laughs> and that's what you get when you come to St. Anne. She greets you with joy. Whenever she comes, she brings a present and she lets us have fun with her. That's what grandmothers do, and that's what St. Anne is going to do for all of us if you come to her novena. So, should you come to her novena? Yeah! All right, we're going to say, I need somebody to help us say the prayer. Okay. We have it, we're going to do it. We'll start right over here. With the big yeah, with the big people. So. Yes. The glorious Saint Anne, you are filled with compassion for those who invoke you, and with love for those who suffer. Heavenly burdened with the weight of my troubles, I cast myself at your feet and humbly beg of you to take the present intercession, which I recommend to you in your special care. And you ask for the intercession silently in your heart. And then, please recommend it to your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and place it before the throne of Jesus so that he may bring it to a happy issue. Continue to intercede for me until my request is granted, but above all, obtain for me the grace to one day see my God face to face with you and Mary and all the saints. And praise and bless him for all eternity. Amen. And then you follow with a Hail Mary. Go ahead. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Then we're going to do the Hail Mary in Espanol. Who, who's going to have? Good. I forgot. Dios te salve. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah.